Now, this is trickier, and you have to be careful with it, okay? I'm gonna pop in, I'm gonna pop in, before I draw this thing, I'm just gonna do normal sign next, because I know what that looks like, at least I should. I'm familiar with it, and I can draw this based on that, okay? So here's regular sign x, okay? It's dotted because it's not the real graph I'm interested in. Oh, now, now, if I have sine of not x, but sine of x plus 30, what difference does that make? Good, I'm shifted and we've gone over this. It's shifted to the left, 30 degrees, okay? So, think about this, right? If I go, here's, here's 90 degrees, right? So roughly, I'm thinking 30 degrees is about a third the way along. So it's like there, okay? Now, that point on the graph should be moving over this way, right? In fact, I could draw the whole thing and then just cut off the parts I don't need. Look, there's regular sine x. I've moved it over. Except, right, part of the graph that I've moved has gone outside the domain. And part of the graph I do need in the domain is gone. Now it just so happens because, well it doesn't just so happen, because 0 to 360 is the exact cycle that sine repeats itself in. The part of the graph that's gone outside the domain <coughs> is exactly the same part of the graph that I need in the domain on the opposite side. Right? So when I remove it here, whoop, it reappears over here. Okay. Does that make sense? See what I've got there? Okay, so now I'm looking for where my solutions are for this is equal to a half. Okay, now you have to be careful here. You actually have to draw this with a bit more accuracy than we've been doing so far. Okay. What's my first solution going to be? Uh, my, my scale is a bit off. Actually, I'll try and fix it. It's going to look something like this. That'll, that'll kind of do. Okay. My first solution, we write there at zero, right? At zero. And when I draw across, I get this. Okay, now you have to be careful with this one because there's my first solution at zero. Where's this solution? Where would it have been had I not had a shift? Where would it have been? It would have been at 150. We've done this question, haven't we? Well, there it is, okay? But I've moved everything over, 30 degrees. So it'll be 30 degrees to the left. Aha, uh -huh. but because I've drawn this reason early, I'm missing something, aren't I? Right? I usually get two solutions when I've just got a normal thing like this, right? But because I've moved it over, just because I've moved it over, look, if zero is a solution, then every multiple of 360 I add to that is also a solution, right? And I have exactly one in my domain, namely 360, right? So, that's a bit sneaky, right? You'd expect by moving it over, you still have two solutions. But in fact, you've got one, two, three solutions. That's a bit sneaky. And the great thing about trig, um, at least with trig equations, is just like regular equations, you can just try it out. You're like, that's a, that's a bit weird, right? Just chuck it in your calculator. Sign 390, sure enough, it'll give you a half. If you, In case you're not convinced by the graph. All right, now, just because I've got it there, I'm gonna use this as a thought exercise to see what would happen if I just adjusted it a little bit. So just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna say the same thing that I said last time, which is, no, you don't have to do the graphical way, but you must master it eventually. So running away from it now is at best deferring a skill you will need later. Because I'm literally going to get it wrong if I do it like that. Like my drawing well, yeah. if you're not going to do it now, you'll have to do it later. Okay, so it's not equal to any actually solve it. Okay, sine x plus 40 equals... One! <laughs> now we can solve it, okay. Yeah. So this is a previous question I just what did. What's the equal? What's the domain? Okay, let's go on the same domain. Let's go on the same domain. Okay. No domain. No domain. No domain. No domain. No domain. Oh, List them all. Okay, so what am I going to do? Sine x plus 40 equals a half. I'm still between 0 and 360. Now, intuition ought to tell you that my solutions will be just the same as what I had here, except all of these ones are 10 degrees too large. Right? Does that make sense? I mean, for instance, if I could put 120 in here, 
I should be able to put 110 in here, and I should get the same thing, right? Because sine 150, <coughs> excuse me, sine 120 plus 30, sine 110 plus 40, right? So if this one is uh, 10 degrees too big, it would turn into 110. What would this one turn into? It would turn into minus 10, which is outside the domain. Okay, so I need its equivalent, which is inside the domain, which thankfully I can get from this guy. Does that make sense? No, I didn't get that. So let me say that again, right? Because the difference between these two is 10 degrees, right? It's 10 degrees. And I'm adding 10 degrees here that aren't here, okay? That means I have to take it off of the solution. Right? Because it's outside the domain. Because it become a, you go outside the domain. So see here, sine 120 plus 30 is a solution for this equation. Right? Sine 120 plus 30. Right? So in other words, I've got a total 150 here. Right? Well, to do the same thing here, I can't put 120 in there. It wouldn't work. I'd have to put in 110. That would give me a total of 150. And 350 would do the same. Minus 10 would do the same, except it's outside the domain. Okay? So my two solutions that I'm going to expect are 110 or 350 degrees. And you can verify that by graphing it. I'm going a little bit further, right? So now, wrong color. Now my line of y equals a half only intersects twice, just like it normally would in that domain. Okay? 